Tara here with Create Life Paper Words and with my 500 subscriber giveaway that I have going on, I had a few ladies ask me what my scrap room looked like and what my storage looks like. So I'm going to show you today what that looks like. I almost cleaned up and then I decided, no, that's not what it looks like on a daily basis. So this is literally from me working on stuff yesterday and not cleaning up. So I'll give you a quick little overview. I do not have a room. I have a corner in our basement with a window, thankfully, but I will give you a sort of quick view of our living room as well. Yeah, see, there's the living room and there's my corner. It's literally a corner. Anyways, um, so that's what it looks like. I will just show you everything, I guess. I've got my sewing machine there. Um, it usually stays out because I'm not much of a sewer and so if it's out then I actually do use it. Um, I've just got this little bookshelf, that's what my sewing machine sits on and it's just got other stamps and uh, my albums that I've, I'm currently working on. Um, I have this, I'll try and get a good shot of it. Uh, it's like a little cabinet and I've had it for years and years. My mom gave it to me um, and it's held so many things over the years. Kids books, my books, uh, now it holds scrapbooking stuff, but it works really well. So the top shelf, I have paper stored on it um, and extra page protectors. And then on the middle shelf, I've got all my embossing stuff. So like my cuddle bug and embossing um, powders and stuff. And then the very bottom is empty right now, um, but it does have my little mini uh, Becky Higgins holder things um, that all the mini kits come in and I just put extra um, what are they called extra pictures and stuff in there and every they're all labeled with all our names on them so I know whose is whose um, and then I have this stand right over here from Ikea and let me move this out of the way. And I got it last year. And last year when my office was upstairs, which is now my daughter's room, um, it fit everything perfectly. But now that I've moved downstairs, I don't use it as much, mainly because I have to go around the desk to get to it. Um, but it still definitely does hold some of my Project Life stuff. Okay. And then here is my desk sure I can sort of get this in the frame for you. Um, you are seeing a sneak peek at my week 39 that I'm working on and I do have a process video for. Um, I generally leave my tripod on my desk um, when I'm working on stuff. I've got my typewriter, I've got all my stamps and my cards and then I've got my computer and my printer yeah, so that's my desk area. So I will go through all of my storage stuff for you. So, okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is my little spinning thing. Uh, this stays on my desk. Um, I got it from Marshalls and it just holds things that I use on a regular basis, like my adhesive, um, my spritzes, uh, my mini attacher, which you all know is my favorite, pins, scissors, that kind of stuff. And I like that it spins so it's easy to get to stuff when I'm in the middle of the process video recording. Um, and then I have my washi. I just want to make sure you can see this because I'm moving back and forth. Um, I got these from Michael's. Um, they're not my favorite. They can be a little hard to get the uh, little things into the pegs um but it works um for something completely different but i thought it'd be good to hold stuff this little ceramic basket right here um it keeps a couple things uh it generally keeps all my stickers in it and my enamel dots so as you can see it's getting pretty full i have to go through and and reorganize it um, there's a lot and a lot of stuff in um it's pink and I found it when I was at a garage sale. Um, so the top of it holds my um, my blocks for stamping. It also holds my black and white inks. Um, I have other colors. I don't use them nearly as much as I probably could. 
Um, I just like the simplicity of black and white. It goes with everything. Um, and then that's on the one side, and then I needed extra room for my oranges and my pinks. Um, and then on the bottom, it holds all my other embellishments. So, like this one right here has my golds, yellows, blacks, and whites. Um, I do all my uh, embellishments by color um, because I find I use them more that way. So, there's that. Over in the corner, uh, I've got my little egg carton things that I use when I'm sorting stuff. I've got a little basket that I put stuff that I'm currently working on in. I've got my sequin holders. I just got these from the dollar store. Uh, pretty much most of the sequins are from there too. Um, this you might find interesting for ladies who are asking about storage. This is what I keep my fuse in. It's just a Stampin' Up! Uh, extra case for their cling mount wood stamps um but the fuse tool fits in it really well with everything in there um and then all i did was i cut the directions out so that i have them and i just stuck them in so that's something if you're looking for a place to store your fuse so it's not all over i really like that and just you know different buckets and boxes and stuff depending on what it's for i guess and then this uh, binder right here that holds my thickers. Um, I got the idea from a friend of mine, Sweet Girl Designs. She just said, she said, she said, has suggested it and she used her fuse and I thought that's a really good idea. And then the back of this is just stuff that my daughter has done that she wanted to keep. I've also got a couple mini books over here that I'm working on. And then I will bring over my storage for my stamps and stuff so you can see it better. So these are my stamps. This is um, an Antonius insert from Ikea. And I've got my rotary stamps in it. So as you can see, I number them all just based on when I buy them. A new one will be number 13. And then I use this little thing that I made up with all the things on each of the stamps. And I number them, and then if I'm looking for something specific, I can just pull it out. On this other side, I've just got like the bigger ones that don't fit as well with the smaller ones. And then the middle part is my stamps, and they are getting a little bit out of control lately. I've got quite a few of them. Um, the smaller ones are up here at the front, and then the bigger ones are at the back. And I'm probably going to have to figure something else out for them, but for right now, this works. baby wipes to clean the stamps and I'm just going to make sure you can see this yep okay um, this holds my project life cards and it also holds my alphas and labels um, so it's um, it's from close to my heart it's one of, it's I believe a medium size case um, I've definitely downgraded my uh, card supplies um, because I found I just wasn't using them. So I sold off anything that I didn't think I was going to use, which was quite a bit. And yeah, I've just put it all in here and it works really well. So I have everything organized by color. So the 3x4s are all back here. Um, white, gray, black, you know, pink, purple, blue, that kind of stuff. Um, and then this side has my 4x4 little ones, um, and then behind it, it's got, uh, labels, so I've got them like white, black, grey, blue, and then I've got washi labels, and then I've got alphas, and they're all colored too, so like gold, white, black, blue, that kind of stuff. I've been finding it works pretty well. The only thing I need to figure out is something to do with my 4x6 cards, because I'm definitely getting a lot more than I used to have. If you're looking for a storage option for your cards and you don't have a ton, something like this would be really good. Um, I like that it's got more room at the top. So when you close it, you, you know, you still have another inch in there. Um, and then it also closes and you can you have the handle. So if you're going any place on like a crop or something like that, um, you can easily carry it. And as you can see, I don't even have them all filled. So 
easy to do that one. Um, and then the last thing that I'll show you is how I store my Woodman Years and my acrylics. Um, this one is pretty much just uh, acrylic and wood veneer from Colorcast Designs, um, so I keep that in this one. And it's pretty, I think it's from the dollar store. Uh, the next one I have is all my other wood veneer, um, so it's like labels, potty people, hearts, stars. So if I'm looking for something specific, it's easy to find. Again. This is from the Dollarama and it was $3. So you know, depending on what your price point is, you can find whatever you want there. And then this one is for all my letters. Um, this one I did not find at the dollar store. This one I actually bought at Walmart. I think it wasn't too bad. I think it was maybe $5. Um, but I needed something with that was a little smaller with lots more spaces because I do have my alphas all split out. So. A's and B's, C's and D's. Um, that way when I'm spelling a word, it's easy for me to find. And then the middle part has just all my like word veneers that I have. Thank you so much for joining me on my scrap room tour. I hope you got some inspiration for your own storage um, options and maybe what you have at home that you can use that's not already in your craft room. Um, as always, you can find me on Create Life Paper Works. Thank you to the subscribers who commented on my giveaway um, asking for a scrap room tour. I hope this is what you thought it was going to be. Um, it's not pretty by any means and it's usually a mess, but it's definitely my own little space um, and it's where I create. So thanks for watching. Bye.